And uh, as we said, we'll go back to the stop, top story, the uh, coronavirus. The government will today give some of the details of that stimulus package. It's preparing in response to the outbreak. And we do have the Treasurer, Josh Frydenberg, in Sydney. Treasurer, thank you for joining us. We realise it's a very busy day. You're a busy man. Can I ask, first of all, just in this breaking news we've heard coming out of Italy, that they are now locking down the entire country, telling everyone to stay home. Is Australia now going to look at extending the travel restrictions that it's put in place? Well, all the time we're assessing our travel restrictions and we continue to adjust them based on the best possible uh, advice that we receive, particularly in this case from the Chief Medical Officer. So no doubt uh, the National Security Committee uh, will look at uh, the developments in, in a range of countries, including in Italy, and, and make judgments based on the evidence that is before us. But uh, obviously we were one of the first countries, Lisa, to put travel restrictions in place and that has slowed the spread of the virus here within Australia compared to other countries like Italy or South Korea. It's been a wild ride on the markets, both in Australia and the US. How bad is it going to get? Well, we're going to continue to see volatility on markets, not just equity markets, but also in debt and, and, and credit markets. Uh, I think that's reflecting the fact that there is a great deal of uncertainty here. Uh, this is a global health crisis, which is having a significant economic impact, both here in Australia, but also uh, much more uh, widely around the world. Australia is very well prepared economically for the challenges ahead. As you know, the Australian economy was strengthening in the back half of last year, and you heard from the Reserve Bank Governor say that the Australian economy's fundamentals were very strong. Uh, so too the Secretary of the Treasury has told Senate estimates uh, that, the, that the Australian economy has been strengthening. Uh, and obviously uh, we've seen monetary policy move. We've made some announcements around uh, cost sharing, uh, the health uh, expenditure related to the virus with the states. And the Prime Minister has foreshadowed a larger substantial package of measures that will be out sooner than later. Treasurer, on one of the, the things we've noted with the markets is the oil war that's going on between Saudi Arabia and mm. Russia. It is having a, a bit of an impact on petrol prices here, but there's someone charging $1.70 for petrol in Sydney today. That's just outright gouging, isn't it? Well, that is extraordinarily high. Uh, that, uh, that does sound well above the market rate. It will take, uh, according to the ACCC, maybe up to two weeks uh, for the lower wholesale price to, to flow through uh, to the Bowser because you'll have retailers who'll be running down existing stocks that they purchased at a higher price. But obviously, uh, the ACCC, which is our cop on the beat, continues to monitor uh, the behaviour of um, oil retailers. And in my conversation yesterday with the head of the ACCC, Rod Sims, he made very clear that he would be calling out uh, activity by oil retailers who do not pass on um, the benefits of a lower wholesale price to consumers. What's the biggest lever you can pull in this stimulus package? Well, we want the alignment between fiscal and monetary policy. And as you saw, the Reserve Bank did reduce the cash rate by 25 basis points, uh, and that was passed on in full by, by the big banks. Our fiscal response will be designed uh, to support businesses remain in business, and of course, Australians to remain in jobs. We'll be uh, trying to assist with uh, cash flow, encourage more investment. And of course, uh, we want uh, people to be able to spend through uh, this cycle because clearly there is a disruption to, to the economy, which is quite significant, well beyond um, those immediate sectors that were hurt by the travel restrictions, namely tourism and international education. And from the excerpts we're seeing from the Prime Minister's speech uh, this morning that he's due to deliver very shortly, it sounds like we can now say that the, uh, subs the, uh, the surplus is dead and buried. Well, obviously, uh, the, uh, the forecasts and the numbers are updated twice a year. The mid-year economic fiscal outlook pre-Christmas and the budget in, in a few uh, weeks, in, in eight weeks' time. But the, the key point here is the surplus is not our focus. Our focus is about getting uh, money out the door, whether it was for, for bushfire uh, um, related damage and victims uh, of, uh, of those bushfires and now in terms of uh, the, the virus and our package uh, will have an immediate impact across the economy. Uh, it will be targeted, uh, it will be responsible and measured and it will be designed to 
to not only ensure we get through this, but we're stronger on the other side. And that's why our, our initiatives will be productivity linked as well. Well, you know what's in the kitty, you know what you've got to spend. Uh, when do you think you might be able to get back to a surplus if you're going to have to rule one out for now? Well, again, that is not our focus. Our focus is on ensuring that the, these measures are responsible, that Australia does live within its means, that we don't affect the structural integrity of the budget, because we've done a lot of work, Lisa, over the last six and a half years to actually deliver the first balanced budget in 11 years. That's actually been achieved, and that's given us the fiscal buffers. That's given us the, the flexibility to respond, to spend in the areas that need it most. And the OECD have singled out Australia and Germany is two countries that have that financial flexibility because of our budgetary position. We've got that financial flexibility to respond uh, to the coronavirus like many other countries do not have. Treasurer, really appreciate you joining us on a busy day. Thank you. Thanks, Lisa. And we're going to go straight to Sydney.